What's up affordable armory folks? How y'all doing? Today I got a cool video for you. We're gonna be talking about the Grace Optics M1. This is a really cool unique optic. Uh, it's a micro red dot made for pistols and uh, I think they really got something going here that you guys are gonna want to check out. There's not been much coverage on this thing. You've probably never heard of it but I think you're gonna like it so stay with me and we'll talk about it. I'll shoot with it and uh, you can form your own opinion. If this is your first time here, click that subscribe button down below so you'll find out when future videos come out. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so here we are at the workbench. I've got the Grace Optics um, mini red dot sight here. You can see it says Grace Optics on the top. No boundaries on the side. Nice little packaging. Um, here on the underneath you've got some of the details and uh, you can see this is um, IPX7 waterproof weighs 1.2 ounces and it's uh, no magnification you got uh, plus and minus 50 MOA plus and minus 50 MOA on uh, windage and elevation in 8 uh, daytime and 2 night settings battery life of 10,000 hours but that's on the lowest setting and some of the things that are in here is the reflex sight. You've got uh, your your Torx head screws. Um, you've got your Torx head keys. You got a battery. You got a Picatinny mount if you wanted to put this on a, a rifle or something. You got a multi-purpose tool, which I'm assuming is used for adjusting the optic. You got uh, a lens cloth and a user's manual. And that's what the reticle looks like. This is the 3 MOA red dot. Again, it is available in a 6 MOA red as well as a 3 or 6 MOA green dot. So let's open the box and see what's inside. And right off the bat, you've got what looks to be your manual. And we'll kind of open that up and show you. Yep. Typical manual stuff, all your specifications. I'm sure there's instructions and whatnot in here. So, oh, look there. Big old marketing on the other side. So, I guess if you wanted to, poster or something. I don't know. That's kind of neat. And then on the back side, operation, installation, and warranty information. So, there's that. We'll put that in there. Got a nice foam padding on the top. And here is again your Picatinny mount. So if you want to put this on a rail, such as on a rifle, you can do that. This is one of your wrenches. Um, and this one you've got your battery. I'm going to set that to the side because I need that. Here is your cleaning cloth. Set that to the side. You've got your screws for mounting it. And here you've got your special tool. This is kind of neat. Uh, some of the Sig Sauer optics offer these things too. So it looks like you've got a screw for um, taking the battery cap on and off and then you've got another screw for making your adjustments. And then here is the optic. Now, check this thing out. So, wow. Look at that. So again, the thing that's unique about this optic is there is no top cover. So the idea behind that being um, you have a larger window for your field of view. So instead of uh, trying to look through essentially that, you have this big open top so you can still see what's, uh, what's higher above you and stuff like that. So. Interesting concept, and I'm curious to see how that works out. Uh, um, I am going to mount this to my Six Hour M17, and um, because this is made for the Romeo One uh, platform, 
So that's the, instead of going with the RMR mount that uh, most of the other companies are going with, they went with the the Leopold slash Sig Romeo platform. But you can see there is your uh, elevation adjustments and there is your windage. You got your two screw holes. There's your battery compartment on the top, which is a nice touch. So you don't have to take the optic off to change the battery. You have your down switch on there and then you have your up switch on the other side pretty nice looking optic i still don't know how i feel about the not having the top piece but really that is what makes this optic unique so i'm curious to try it out and um, i'm going to get it mounted to a gun and show you what that looks like uh, one thing i wanted to note before i do get this mounted it looks like the glass is a little uneven it's kind of hard to tell but um if you see there on the left side the glass is going under that little lip and then on the right side it's just above that lip so it's like higher on the right side than it is the left I don't know if they did that on purpose but and I don't know if it'll affect how it works but just something to note I, I just I noticed it and uh, if you look at it from the front you can kind of notice it too it just looks a little like oblong shaped but again nice thick piece of glass so I'm not too worried about there not being a top piece I don't plan on dropping this on the ground but even if I did uh, that's pretty thick glass I don't know that that would actually even crack or break okay so here's what it looks like mounted on my uh, M17 and I'll go ahead and send slide forward there and you can see the dot is on and that's at the lowest setting so on the right side here is your up button on the left side here is the down button if I press the up button you'll see that it does get pretty dang bright and that's uh, I think that's as high as it goes it gets pretty blown out um, and uh, of course that's against a dark background and I didn't need to turn it up that bright at all. As a matter of fact, I left it on the lowest setting when I was shooting it. And uh, we'll go ahead and insert some of that footage right now. Got one in the center. Okay, so here is my first three shots. All right, right there, this group right here. So as you can see, I was way to the right and um, I was making adjustments and what I noticed was there are no um, noticeable clicks to it. So there's no telling how far you're turning it. Um, you kind of just have to eyeball it. Um, so I turned it way too far and my next three shots were right here, right on the edge of the paper. Uh, followed that up with uh, these three right here that were low, so then I adjusted the elevation. And um, I'm not sure where the third shot is, but two of them were right there, one on the X and one a little high. And uh, so then I moved on to the second target here. And I've got, again, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be nine shots. So uh, maybe one of those is two holes. I, I don't know. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. I don't know where the ninth one is, but um, I think it was like three and then three and then three or some, something like that. But you can see I was getting closer. And then after that, that was 20 rounds total. I did a five shot confirmation and that's one, two, three, four, five. I thought that was pretty good. That's 10 yards um, unsupported and um, just a quick 20 round zero with a five round confirmation at 10 yards. I was fairly impressed with that. Um, I wasn't expecting a whole lot, but I, I think it did what it was supposed to do. I was really, really, uh, it, it overperformed. It impressed me. So um, I let other people shoot it, and they confirmed that. They were able to put uh, rounds in the X from 10 yards using the same optic, same gun. And, uh, yeah, everyone I showed it to really likes it. So good job, Grace Optics, man. Way to make a unique optic that performs. So what do I think of the Grace Optics M1? First of all, I am impressed because I'd never heard of these guys before. Most of you guys probably haven't. Um, and I found them on Instagram and said, hey, could you send me one? I'd like to try it. And they said, sure. And man, I, I just got to say it performed. It did really well. Um, I like the, uh, the high visibility of the dot. It's got two night settings if you're into that. Um, it mounts to the Romeo and Leopold platform instead of the traditional RMR platform. So they got that going for them. Um, it's got the unique open top design, which everyone I showed it to was like, that is cool. Everyone that I handed this gun to and let shoot or just let check it out said, hey, that is neat because I can actually see what I'm looking at. So good job, Grace Optics. And, um, it performed. I mean, I zeroed it. I did a five shot confirmation. I had other people hitting the X ring at 10 yards. No problem. Good job, Grace Optics. I can highly recommend this red dot. Again, if this is your first time here, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button down below so you'll find out when future videos come out. As always, head over to affordable-armory.com. That's where the blog lives. That's where all of our social media links are. That's where all of our affiliate links are so you can support the channel and save yourself some money at the same time. And you can pick yourself up some cool merch like this hat here. We've got t-shirts, mugs, and all sorts of stuff. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.